Good morning. Welcome to my basement, everybody. You know it's the weekend because I got crazy pajama pants on. So we're starting my favorite unit right now. The big idea of this unit is that matter cannot be created or destroyed, meaning every single atom that you're made of or that's around you used to be something else. We're going to use this blank, regular old sheet of paper as an example. This sheet of paper is made out of mostly carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Hi, Buckles. Welcome to the video. You're going to give me, you're going to give me a little kiss? No? Oh. Embarrassing. All right. So, anyways, we've got the sheet of paper made out of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen mostly. And obviously we know paper comes from trees. That tree got its oxygen from the carbon dioxide in the air, which probably came from an animal. So the exact pieces of matter in this piece of paper came from somewhere else, which came from somewhere else, which came from someone else, or someone or somewhere else, meaning matter cycles. But we're going to focus in on the ways matter can change. It can't be created. It can't be destroyed. So how can it change? There are two types of ways to change it. We have one way, which is called a physical change. When you're looking at something, whether or not it's a physical, whether it is a physical change, what you want to ask yourself is, is it still the same substance? So the substance we're dealing with right now is paper. Is this still paper? Yes. So this is a physical change. Changing the size or shape of something is simply a physical change. This is paper. This is paper. If I took this paper and folded it and made, I don't know, I can't actually do this, but if I could make like a paper boat out of it, that would be an example of a physical change. Taking the paper that's flat, you can either change the size or the shape of it. Those are all physical changes because they're all still just paper. What if I took this piece of paper and just dropped it in a thing of water? Think about that for a second. Do you think that's a physical or a chemical change? If you said physical, you are right. This is still a sheet of paper. It might be wet paper, but it is still just paper. When it dries, it is back to where it was, paper. Another thing you could do is you could change the color of something. So if I were to take this sheet of paper and put a smiley face on it, Although I made a smiley face on this paper, it is still paper. Those are all examples of physical changes, changing the size, shape, color of it, as long as it's still paper. I could put this in the freezer. It's going to be cold paper, but that's a physical change. It's still just going to be paper. So how in the world could I do the next kind of change, which is a chemical change. A chemical change takes the atoms, the carbon, the oxygen, and the hydrogen that make up the sheet of paper, and it turns it into something different. Hmm. An example of a chemical change is right here. My favorite type of chemical change. We've got a sheet of paper. And I'm going to light this sheet of paper on fire. I don't want to set off the smoke alarm, so I'm going to let this go for a minute. Think about what is going on to this sheet of paper. I'm going to take a small piece right here, right? I'm going to set this on fire. When I'm done with that, is that still paper? 
The answer is no, it is not paper anymore. And what we are going to delve into as young scientists is exactly if it's not paper anymore and matter cannot be destroyed, what exactly did it turn into? Any ideas? I want you to think about that. That is going to be the question you're going to answer based on this video. If that paper is no longer paper, so it was a chemical change, it changed what it was, when you burn a sheet of paper, what does that paper turn into? Write your answers down right now.